Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the earth leakage relay and core balance current transformer. In this video, we will cover what is earth leakage relay and what is core balance current transformer, which is also called in short CBCT. Second, we will discuss about the working operation of ELR and CBCT together. And third thing which we will learn in this video is the wiring diagram of ELR and CBCT. Earth leakage relay is a sensing device which is sensing the earth leakage current and when the earth leakage relay finding this earth leakage current more than its preset value for more than its preset time then the earth leakage relay open the circuit breaker in order to break the circuit. The function of ELCB that is earth leakage circuit breaker ELCB and the function of ELR that is earth leakage relay is same but the operation is different. Earth leakage circuit breaker sensing the earth leakage current and breaking the circuit by its own but earth leakage relay is sensing the earth leakage current by the help of core balance current transformer and whenever the earth leakage find this sensed current more than the preset value of earth leakage current for more than preset time then the earth leakage relay will give command to the circuit breaker or to the contactor to open it in order to break the circuit. So the function of ELCB and ELR is same but the operation is different. The ELCB is used for the lower rating of operation but the ELR can be used for the higher current rating operation. To better understand the earth leakage relay let us understand its important parts. The first thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is a earth leakage current setting knob. This knob is a earth leakage current setting knob. With the help of this knob you can adjust the rating current rating of the earth leakage relay. Here you can see that the earth leakage relay you can set from 0.3 ampere to 30 ampere means from 30 milliampere to 30 ampere. Suppose you set the knob at 10 ampere and whenever the earth leakage relay is sensing the earth leakage current with the help of CBCT more than 10 ampere then this earth leakage relay will give command to the circuit breaker or to the contactor to trip. The second thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is a trip time setting knob. This knob is a trip time setting knob. Here you can see that there is setting from 0 second to 10 second. If we will adjust this knob to the 5 number then this knob will have a time setting of 5 seconds and if the current setting knob is in the 10 ampere then the earth leakage relay will do not trip if there is a current of 10 ampere and more than 8 for less than 5 seconds and if this 10 ampere of earth leakage current is for more than 5 seconds then this earth leakage relay will give command to the circuit breaker or to the contactor to trip or to break the, its contact. So the time setting is giving the hold time for the earth leakage current and when that earth leakage current is prolonged time more than the set time then the earth leakage relay will give command to the circuit breaker or to the contactor to break its contact in order to break the circuit. The third thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is set and reset function push button. This button here also you can see third number is a test and reset button. With the help of this button you can reset the earth leakage relay. What does it mean? It means suppose this earth leakage relay is tripped by the earth leakage fault then by pressing this reset button or test button we can reset this earth leakage relay. Moreover to that from the same test and reset button we can check the correctness of our control wiring by pressing the test or reset button. So this button has two function. One, when the earth leakage relay is tripped due to the earth leakage fault, then we can reset it by pressing this test and reset button. Second function of this button is that we can check the correctness of our control wiring by pressing this test button. In some of the ELR you will find the test and reset button is the two different buttons. But some manufacturer giving the test and reset button as a one button. Okay, the fourth thing which you will find on the ELR is a power on LED indicator. This is the power on LED indicator. The function of this power on LED indicator is that it will give the indication that there is a power in the LED uh, in the ELR and the ELR is active. The fifth thing which you will find on the 
ELR is the earth leakage fault LED indication CT open means if there is a earth leakage fault and the earth leakage relay is stripped then it will show the indication by red LED that the earth leakage relay is stripped. The sixth thing which you will find on the ELR is a bar graph for earth fall indication. This is the bar graph for the earth leakage indication. Here you can see that it's written 30%, 45%, 60% and 75%. What does it mean? Suppose you set the current rating at 10 ampere and this earth leakage relay is sensing the earth leakage current of only 3 ampere. Then what we can say that the 30% of the earth leakage set current is sensing by this ELR. So this 30% LED indicator will glow which will indicate that this ELR sensing the 3 ampere leakage current which is 30% of the set earth leakage current rating. Suppose this earth leakage relay is sensing a 6 ampere of current when it is set on 10 ampere of earth leakage current then the 60% LED bulb will glow because this earth leakage relay is sensing 60% earth leakage current of its set set earth leakage current rating. In same way, if this earth leakage relay is sensing 7.5 ampere of earth leakage current and the set earth leakage current is 10 ampere, then the 75% LED bulb will glow in order to indicate that there is 75% earth leakage current of its set rating. If this earth leakage relay is having the earth fault current of 10 ampere then this earth leakage relay will wait for 5 seconds if the dial is on the 5 seconds and after 5 seconds if the earth fault current is still 10 ampere then this earth leakage relay will trip and the trip bulb indication will glow and it will show that this ELR is tripped due to earth leakage fault. I want to highlight one more important point that if the dial is not set on 10 ampere and it is set on 30 ampere then the ELR bulb of 30% will not glow when it sends a 3 ampere of current. Why? Because 30% of set earth leakage current that is 30 ampere is not 3 ampere but this time it is 9 ampere. So I hope you understand this value that is 30%, 45%, 60% and 75% is based on the set earth leakage current value. Okay? The seventh thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is the standard number. Here the standard number is IEC 60947-2M. This is the standard based on International Electrotechnical Commission. And based on this standard, this earth leakage relay is designed and manufactured. The eighth thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is line and neutral contact which is also called auxiliary contact for power supply for the earth leakage relay. Here it is mentioned L and N which I shown you here L and N. These are the contact for the earth leakage relay for its power supply. The ninth thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is B1 and B2 contact which I shown you here. This contact is very important contact for the earth leakage relay because from this contact the earth leakage relay is getting the feedback from CBCT that is core balance current transformer. The 10th thing which you will find on the earth leakage relay is Y1 and Y2 contact. Suppose if I want to reset this ELR then I can reset from here. But if I want this ELR to be reset remotely then I have to connect one wire from Y1 and another wire to Y2 and we connect this wire to the push button from where we need to reset this ELR. So the main purpose of Y1 and Y2 contact is to reset this ELR from remotely. The 11th thing which you will find on the ELR nameplate is 25 and 28 which is NO auxiliary contact. Here you can see that 25 and 28 these two contacts are NO auxiliary contact. I will show you and I will brief you what are the purpose and how this contact are being used during wiring of the ELR. The other contact which is available on the earth leakage relay is contact 15, 16 and 18. This one also I will brief you and I will make you understand what are the purpose of these 15, 16 and 18 contact of the ELR. 
but for the time being just you understand that the contact 25 and 28 which is the NO auxiliary contact is used to connect the trip indication lamp or to energize buzzer or the alarm when there is a earth fault and the contact 15, 16, 18 is used to give the command to MCCB or to the contactors to break the circuit. Now let us understand what is core balance current transformer. Core balance current transformer basically a ring type current transformer and the operation of core balance current transformer is very simple. Here I shown you the three phase cable is passing through the CBCD. Okay, the phase is IA, IB and IC which you can refer as a R, Y and B. During normal condition the resultant current from IA, IB and IC will be zero. But whenever there is a leakage, earth leakage fault in any of the phase then the resultant current from IA plus IB plus IC will not be zero and it will be some current. For the CBCT, the primary winding will be the cable course and the secondary winding will be the winding inside the CBCT. Whenever the resultant current from the wires which is passing through the CBCT is zero, then the CBCT will not get energized. But whenever there is an earth leakage fault in the circuit, then the resultant current will not be zero and it will be some amount of current and due to this some amount of current, the CBCT will energize and it will give signal to the earth leakage relay. This is the basic principle and working of the CBCT core balance current transformer. To more clearly understand the working operation of CBCT, let us take one simple example. Here you can see that I am feeding one motor and the wire which is supplying the power supply to that motor is passing through one CBCT. Okay, suppose there is 10 ampere of current is flowing through this wire and then again the 10 ampere current will return in the normal condition. But whenever there is a earth leakage in the motor, there is a earth fault in the motor then 10 ampere will pass through the CBCT but 10 ampere will not return this time from the neutral wire because there is some leakage current will flow in the motor bodies and to the earth. Okay. I am considering here the 7 ampere is returning back through the neutral and 3 ampere is becoming as a earth fault current. So there is a difference of 3 ampere of current. So here you see that when there is no earth fault then 10 ampere is current passing through CBCT through the phase wire and again 10 ampere current will return back through CBCT through neutral wire. So the resultant current passing through CBCT is 10 minus 10 that is 0 ampere. In that case the CBCT will not get energized. But when there is a earth fault then 10 ampere of current is passing through the CBCT but only 7 ampere of current is returning back from the CBCT. So here the resultant current is not 0 ampere. This time the resultant current is 3 ampere. And due to this resultant current the CBCT get active and energized and it will give signal through its contact S1 and S2 to the relay to operate. And relay will evaluate that the receiving current from the CBCT is less than the preset value or beyond the preset value. Depending upon that, relay will trip or will not trip. Suppose if the preset value is more than the current which it is receiving from the CBCT, then the relay will not trip. But whenever the current which earth leakage relay is receiving from CBCT is more than its preset value then the relay will check the holding time and after holding time if the current is beyond the preset value then the relay will trip and break the circuit in order to protect from the earth leakage fault. The concept which I explained you through single phase system is same for the three phase system. If the current through IR plus IY plus IP is zero then the CBCT will not activate itself but whenever there is a earth leakage fault due to any phase then the difference the resultant current between R, IR, IY plus IB will be some current which we call neutral current and when the CBCT will find this current then it will give signal to the relay and relay will operate accordingly. So the concept which I explained you for the single phase it's also same for the three phase. 
i hope you clearly understand how the cbct is working now let us understand how to do the electrical wiring for elr and cbct in order to protect any load from the earth fault current so let's see it here what we have done we connected one mccb and the power is coming first to the mccb breaker and then the cable l1 l2 l3 which is r y b and neutral is passing through cbct and then it is connecting to one load which we need to protect from any earth fault current now the output of the cbct which which we will receive from s1 and s2 terminal will give to b1 and b2 terminal of the elr in order to have response from cbct to elr okay now we give power supply to the elr from l1 and n terminal or l1 and l2 terminal now whenever there is a earth fault in the circuit then cbct will active and it will give response to the elr and this time the elr will make its nc contact to no contact and no contact to nc contact okay so what will happen when there is a earth fault current in the load then the cbct will active and it will give response to the elr and due to giving response to the elr then the elr will change its ns no contact to nc in that time what will happen you see the current which is flowing through lamp okay before when the the contact was no it's not completing and the lamp will not grow for the trip trip indication but now as the cbct given response to the elr then the nc no contact became nc so the path for the lamp did like this is completed okay then the lamp will glow and it will indicate that the load has earth leakage fault now the elr has to trip this mccb in order to stop the supply when there was no earth fault then there was no response from cbct to elr so the 15 and 16 was nc but 15 and 18 was no contact okay but due to the earth fault the cbct give response to the e elr and due to this the 15 and 16 contact become the nc contact like this okay now what will happen the current which is flowing through this it will go to 15 then it will go to 18 and it will again go to the sun trip and it will activate the sun trip to break the mccb contact as we see that when there was no earth fault then the power is coming to 18 but it is not reaching to 18 because 15 and 18 was in no contact but as the as there is a fault in the earth fault in the system then 15 and 18 become nc contact and then the power will flow from 15 to 18 and it will complete the circuit for the sun trip of the mcb mccb and due to completing the circuit of sun trip of mccb sun trip get activated and it will and it trips the mccb i hope you clearly understand what is elr what are the printed details and the different functions of elr the working principle of cbct that is the core balance current transformer how to do the wiring for the cbct and elr in order to protect connected load and what is the concept and how the cbct and elr together protecting any connected load if you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much